Oh, jeez. You okay? I know. I heard. Are you okay? You gotta look for that corner. I know, buddy. Come here. Let's put your shoes on. You get to wear your new shoes. Your white Adidas shoes. shoe first. I hope these go on well. They look kind of tight, huh? Oh, I know it tickles. Yeah, these shoes need some like stretching. Let's see where your toes are at. Very good. How do they feel? They feel okay? Do you like your new shoes? Yeah. Yeah? Good. They look super cute on you. Guys, we're gonna be needing a haircut here soon. Oh, The outfit of the day featuring my hair clip. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today you are joining us on a date. Liam and I are gonna head out to Target. We're gonna have a mommy and, oh, I said mommy and baby. Can I still call him? He's forever my baby. We're having a mommy and Liam date. You high five? Yeah, we're gonna have a date. We're gonna go out to Target, grab a few things, and then we need to stop at Publix and grab a few items as well. Can you say camera? Stinky. Are you telling them stinky? Mm. Can you say stinky? Mm. Stinky. Mm. Stinky is our new favorite word. Watch your head on the corner. Good job. We have our sleigh bell. Ah, that's cool. Do you want to show them your bell? Liam, you want to show everybody your bell? He's busy. Okay. <laughs> Dang, it's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Yay. Love you. Cookies in my tummy. In my belly, in my tummy. Mm -mm -mm. It's like the biggest rap cookie song I've ever heard. Yeah. If you think of anything else that we need from either Publix or Target, text me, call me. All right, just what I told you for me. All right. If they have that. propel, get some propel. Can't reach the pedal. Why is my setting not working? Oh. Try it, try it. No. Yes. I had I had to hit number two and then number one and then it went. Oh, that's weird. That's so weird. Uh, that propel. Oh, you need propel. That was not on the list. No, that wasn't. You got a quarter tank of gas. How did that happen? I spent a quarter of it. How did we spend a whole half? Uh, you went to and from baseball. Uh, well, how does that make sense? I have to get gas? Okay, we are back home, but guys, I did not film in Target. I filmed a smidge. It was so packed in there, and I was like, oh, I felt really, do I have coconut in my tooth? I think I did. I felt really nervous to film. I don't know why. I feel like when, oh, it's such a funny, bizarre thing, but I feel like when I have Larry with me, I can film openly. There's something about vlogging in public, guys, sometimes. I mean, some people are surely not bothered, but me, I get all 
self-conscious sometimes and today was one of those days but I think the fact the store was insanely crowded and people everywhere like you just don't want to be in your way holding a camera <laughs> in in their way like holding a camera and vlogging so I figured instead I would just quickly show you guys what I picked up at Target Liam is down for his second nap of the day like I said it was definitely a struggle today but well, I don't think I did tell you guys that Anyway, so this is what I got. I got a couple of things for Liam and a couple of things for myself. I also got the Pampers wipes, the unscented ones, and I also got the Huggies diapers for him. We needed a restock on that. Anyways, I saw these shorts for boys. They're so cute. I love the color. These are in size 2T, which he is in now. And they had new shirts. He has a couple of um, variations of this shirt. I just liked this color. It's very summery. And then this is very summery. It was so cute. Almost sold out. There was a T-Rex one that I really wanted and they were sold out of the 2T in it, but this is cute. How adorable is this? It's just a light blue um, t-shirt with beach balls on it. Perfect for summer. Now for myself, I got this, which is the is this different? It is different from the one I got. So this is the telescopic lift mascara. I guess there's like an original version and then the lift version. So I got the lift version in waterproof. And then I also got, where is it? Where is it? Then I also got the original one. So this is the original telescopic waterproof. 50% longer lashes, intense length. I love length. So this one gives length, lift, and volume. So we shall see. I love L'Oreal's mascaras in general. I'm a huge fan of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Amazing. Now, if you guys are looking for a really good drugstore um, concealer, I love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Erasers. I went up a shade. I went to like a 120 usually. I think I was like the 110 the light shade or 115, whatever it is, but I went up to 120, just a little bit of a warmer tone, tan, whatever you want to call it. So I picked up one of those. The batteries for the candles and just a half. Batteries are so expensive. Guys, this pack is $20. $20 for a pack of batteries. I spent $60 on batteries at the store. That's insane. All right. And then the last thing is a pop socket because I did purchase a new um, iPhone case on Amazon. It's like $9.99, I think. It's probably not the most like, it's not like an outer box. Is it an outer box or an otter box? I think they're otter boxes. Definitely not one of those, but it's cute. It says smile on the day. Smile, what does it say? Smile every day on the back and it has a heart, but I cannot function without a pop socket on the back because I feel like this is going to slide out of my hand. It's going to fall. Plus, it's just so easy to take pictures and like hold the pop socket. I am excited to put this on and have a pop socket. So we will do that really quick. It says to cut. We are not cutting. We are ripping. Ain't nobody got time to cut. <laughs> Probably get it out faster. Oh, no. We are there. All right. We're almost in. So I do need to put it, I think, right over top of the cute little heart because that's the center. It's going to match that gold. It's going to be nice. So there's just this little sticky tab on here. We're going to pull this off. And we're going to stick it onto the phone. I'm going to do it down here so I don't screw it up. All right, it's on. Now we're going to push it and hold it down for a few seconds. Make sure it really adheres. Okay. And there we go. So now you have a pop socket. So now I can easily take pictures and not, and video, honestly. It's just so good. <sighs> okay, so that is everything that I picked up at Target. Very simple, very low key, just a few goodies. Liam enjoyed going out and about. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. So today is a really big day. I'm very, very excited. Today is the day of my first fertility appointment post the last egg retrieval and all of that that just didn't go to plan we didn't get the results that we had hoped for by the end of that egg retrieval and by the end of getting the results for the one little embryo that we had 
Um, so the doctor has advised, of course, you guys know, but if you don't know and you're stumbling on this video, I had the egg retrieval. We had one embryo and that embryo did not come back um, from the PGT testing as a normal embryo. Um, which it just, I hate that. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just so sad. So I did have that embryo saved just in case our doctor really does not want us to use that embryo. He said that it would most likely result in, um, a miscarriage. So he wants us to go through another round of an egg retrieval. So I have my pre-med appointment. So my period finally arrived and I had my first appointment. Guys, this period was so weird to the point that the fertility clinic was like, take a pregnancy test if it doesn't arrive by the end of this week. And I'm like, well, that's probably impossible. Like Larry and I have been married for going on eight years this year. Um, I know that things happen, like that would be a miracle, but I just knew I was like, eh. because Larry had a vasectomy so long ago, I was like, probably not. But you never know, miracles can happen. So I was hoping for that little miracle. There was a small part of me that was, but I, I knew. Um, so anyways, I started spotting on a Saturday and then it just disappeared. I messaged the fertility clinic. I was like, yay, I'm spotting. And they were like, and of course, you know, if you go through IVF, but if you don't know, spotting does not count as a period. They want it to be that full on flow. If you are not a fan of TMI, this might not be the video <laughs> for you. Um, but full flow finally arrived Thursday, so yesterday, and then they want to see you on day two for your pre-med appointment. I have ordered my shots as well. They should be arriving today. Hopefully they arrive today. They're supposed to. If they don't, we'd be in big trouble and this whole cycle would be canceled. So they do need to arrive today and I start my first round of shots on Saturday. I have a new shot in the mix and then I start the stimulation. Stim meds is what they call them in IVF. I don't know why I do that, but stem meds start on Sunday, but shots start tomorrow, Saturday. So th this is the full run guys. Like it's going to be hot and heavy now for the next two weeks. I'll be going back and forth to the fertility clinic a lot over the next two weeks. It's usually like every three days. It seems like every other day, especially when you get closer to that egg retrieval. Um, if I go the full 14 days with the stimulation meds, like I did last time, I think my egg retrieval will be on the weekend of May 4th, 5th area if I go that full 14 days. So we will see. It's going to be a long 14 days of shots and needles, but we already know what to expect. But I do have one extra shot that I have to perform twice a day when before it was just two shots in the evening. Now I have one in the morning that I have to do and then three at night. <laughs> it's okay. We can get through it, guys. We will get through it. We're doing what we need to do to have our little miracle baby. We are so blessed and so lucky to have Liam. I just thank God for him every day, guys. I can't believe how much of a miracle he truly is. I've always known, but now as we're trying for baby number two, it's like I was so fortunate. We were so fortunate and so lucky to get pregnant with him like off the bat because this round is definitely a different story, but I am going to hit the road. I am going to listen to an audiobook and we will head in and see how it goes and hang out for the rest of the day. Okay guys, we are back in the car from the appointment. Again, if you are not a fan of TMI periods, I would skip this part until you see me at the house. <laughs> uh, essentially guys, my period is so heavy, it's so bad. It is one of the worst ones I've had in a while. Um, and I bled everywhere, all over the table. Every I apologize like 7,000 times. It's just so bad and she's like, it's totally okay, it's okay, it's normal post like 
coming off of an egg retrieval cycle and then stopping birth control. Like my last period that I had was the post birth control period, which I guess didn't count. Um, so I needed to stop my birth control. I was on it after the egg retrieval to prepare for an embryo transfer. Obviously that didn't happen. We didn't transfer an embryo. So I had to stop the birth control. I had a post birth control period, which wasn't really, I guess, the main period that they were looking for. Whereas this cycle that I'm on now is the main period and it is so bad. But we're, we're making it through and I'm sharing that not to like give you guys gross details, but just as like a female and a woman, like this is very normal. It happens to that, like to us, to the best of us. It's normal, it's okay, and here we are. It is what it is, right? So, oh my gosh. I just keep shaking my head thinking about that. I even walked out of the room and I'm like, I'm so sorry. And again, like I'm only apologizing because I feel like I tried to clean up as best as I can, but like they have to go in after me. Like, ugh. anyways, but it's okay. It is what it is. So I had the vaginal ultrasound, which I was hoping wasn't going to happen today, but I knew it was because I have such bad cramps and just like a vaginal ultrasound when you have really bad cramps, not a good time. But she said everything looks beautiful in there. My lining is very thin, which is exactly where it's supposed to be. She didn't see any cysts. We have a, a leaf blower behind us. She didn't see any cysts on the ultrasound, which is great. She's like, as long as your blood work comes back completely normal, everything looks good, then we will start with the shots. My shots are currently on the way. I just sent a Larry um, a screenshot because I just got a message from FedEx saying that they're gonna be here anywhere between right now and 12.30. It's currently 11.30. So we will unbox those shots together, which I remember last time I was very overwhelmed by the amount of injection, injections and shots and pills. Like the only pills that are in there is um, an antibiotic that you take right before the surgery just to decrease chances of getting um, some kind of a, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> You know when you take antibiotics to protect your body basically infection like an infection post-surgery so okay let's listen to our book mm. actually I need to see if I have some Motrin up in here or Tylenol I have Motrin thank god oh my gosh I don't I have a my Motrin bottle with no Motrin in here oh I have one Motrin but is that a migraine what is that no it's a regular I have one Motrin pill in here okay well that'll that'll work we can have one. Also, I should be getting my list of details on what not to do, what to do, what to take. I'm pretty sure they like you to only take Tylenol. So starting tomorrow, once my shots come through, I'll take Tylenol. I need to ask about my Rizotriptan. I'm gonna try and not take it during this cycle. Um, I hope I don't get a bad migraine with all the meds. Most of the time when I go through this IVF cycle in preparation, I end up getting a lot of bad migraines and that's because you're taking added hormones. My hormones trigger my migraines, I'm pretty sure. Mm. No sexual intercourse during this preparation period. No exercising. You're allowed to do like brisk walk, light stretching and yoga, but no twisting of the abdomen. There's usually a lot of like those kind of little things that go into it. But the next two weeks is going to be a heavy prep period for me. And this past weekend, you guys haven't seen this vlog yet because this is going up first, but um, this past week, not weekend because it's Friday as I'm filming this, but this past week we were at Universal Studios and it was so much fun and my period held off on that Wednesday. I didn't have it at all. I was spotting lightly, but then it came like full blown on Thursday. And I'm like, I feel like <laughs> the period gods just knew to hold off for me and let me have that one day of total fun and relaxation. It was just so, so nice. It is time now to prep our body. We're gonna vamp it up here. And I'm excited that we're finally here and we're in this phase and I'm really looking forward to it. So positive energy, positive vibes. Also, how sweet was that sticky note wall? I sat right next to it and I started looking at it and I'm like, this is so inspiring and so nice to read. It's a great reminder. So if you guys want to pause the screen on those sticky notes and take a screenshot, they're great, great, great to read. Anyways, let's hit the road. Let me get my book ready and we are going to get going. Resting follicle on the right side is seven, six on the left. So working with 13 follicles, which is good. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow is when you'll start the microdose Lupron injection. And so the dosing on that is 25 units twice a day. 
So once in the morning, once in the evening, roughly 12 hours apart. Okay. Okay, and that'll be Saturday and Sunday by itself, but it will continue like that, the 25 units twice a day, daily throughout the duration of your IVF cycle. The dosing on that will not change. Okay. And then starting on Monday evening, you'll add in the gondolet and the menopure. And I just recommend going ahead and giving those at the same time you're doing the microdose process. Okay, perfect. So just a reminder on the dosing of those 300 units of the gondolet and then 150 units on the menopure. Okay. Okay, and that'll be for Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then we want you back on Thursday of next week for your first monitoring appointment. Okay. Yay, perfect. My meds aren't here yet, but they are supposed to be arriving within the next hour, so that will be great. Oh, that's great. Yes. Wonderful. All right, well, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great weekend. All right. No problem. Thanks, Mindy. You too. All right, bye-bye. Yay. Okay, so I start that one, the new one. I'm going to do it at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., 12 window. That's perfect. So 8 a.m., 8 p.m., so I have one shot every day starting tomorrow at 8 a.m., which is the microdose Lupron. And then three shots at 8 p.m. Don't start the gonal or the menopure until Monday. All right, guys, so we are still awaiting the arrival of my meds, but I love staying organized by like doing my calendars. I have three calendars, which I know may seem really funny, but I have this one. It's like a dry erase calendar. I write everything down for the month. And then this one like hangs out in the kitchen. Then I have my full on paper calendar, which pretty much stays by my computer. And then of course I have the phone, which gives me all of my daily alerts. So I like to keep them all synchronized, which <laughs> it's like why three of them, but I love it. It just is reminders everywhere pretty much, especially when we have so many appointments and things like this, when we're going through and shots and blah, da, 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 da. It just keeps everything organized. What's really funny is it is currently, as I am filming this video for you guys, it is April 19th. Oh, you guys are seeing this tomorrow. You're seeing it tomorrow. I have been waiting to update my calendar, the March calendar, to do it with you guys. And somehow the whole month of April is nearly gone by. I mean, we only have like a week and a half left of the month of April and I'm just now finally sitting down to update the calendar but I still do pardon my phone going off I do still really want to get it ready because now is when the hectic time begins so I figured we would get this organized let me know do you keep yourself organized with calendar do you primarily use the phone or do you have like oops oh well that's okay um do you have multiple calendars like I do, which is, it's kind of funny, but I like it. I like staying organized and having the daily reminders in every direction because, I don't know, things can get missed and we don't want that. I have not been sleeping that well and I feel like the tiredness is really hitting. Plus I'm on the, I'm on the period. So, I mean, that could be part of it too. I'm just, I feel like nothing is enough and now i am back to my coffee and i am doing okay guys it's so funny i'm still using that elmhurst coffee creamer i actually really like the caramel macchiato one it's really good so i'm having that with my starbucks toasted graham coffee and i'm not having any issues i don't know what was going on um, i'm still watching some sometimes i do but i'm not having like the everyday frequent issues thank goodness so I, uh, I stopped drinking my energy drinks for now, my Celsius drinks, just because preparing for that egg retrieval and I wanna put great things in my body and not probably, I don't know, I don't know. You hear lots of things about like energy drinks and stuff. I mean, Celsius is much better than Red Bull, I think, but don't get me wrong, I'll still drink Red Bull every now and then. I just feel like I should and could, I want, I need those pick-me-ups, but I'm trying to decrease putting that in my body at the moment. I hope that makes sense. And who is ding, 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 dinging me? My cousin and my best friend, Angela. The first was on a Monday, April Fool's. Oh my gosh, which leads me to a lot of you guys asking if the frog in the toilet was a prank and not real. It was very real. We had a frog in the toilet, but guys, it has disappeared. I don't know if it was in fact actually living in the toilet or if he accidentally, he or she made her way into the toilet. I don't know, but we have not seen that frog since. 
uh, my fear is a little dropped down a little bit too with the toilet. I don't know, maybe we flushed it and, and, and I don't know. I hope that little frog is okay. I hope I, my goal, our goal was definitely to rescue the frog from the toilet and put frog in the forest. Um, but I don't know, we have never seen it since. I just got the meds, but I'm really, really, really concerned because last time I had a huge box, this is a relatively small box and there should be a lot more than this. I'm nervous. Hopefully everything's in this box, but I don't think it is. Oh my gosh, what if it's not? Ooh, and we don't have all the shots. Ooh, what happens? I'd have to call the fertility clinic, go into a panic. No, we're not even gonna panic. <sighs> we're gonna calm ourselves. We're gonna, what do you have? What's that? We're watching Miss Rachel. Hi. Okay, I'm excited, but I also have like this really un... <laughs> just ripped out my earring. Oh my gosh. I'm not nervous, but I'm ripping out my earrings. Clearly I'm nervous. Okay. Although I was trying to take my AirPod out, but apparently the earring wanted to come out too, or I just, oh my gosh, why am I freaking out? <laughs> Is it because I've had three cups of coffee? Probably, but no, I don't know. I feel like anytime you're you're doing um, medicines like this or just like a big journey like this, it does get, you know what? I shouldn't say it does get. Personally, I get a little nervous. So I think that's what's happening here. I'm seeing the box arrive. I know what's to come. I know there are shots. Good throw, bud. We have a little athlete. He loves throwing balls, catching the ball. We're still working on catching, but he loves to throw the ball. And Larry and I were athletes, so I'm not surprised, but all right, let's see. Let's get this flipped back over the way it's supposed to be. What if all the meds aren't in here? So these are all the syringes, the insulin syringes. <clears throat> yeah this is not all my medications this is one of them why would the same company send separate okay I'm really freaking out okay it's fine because it's like I have to start I think this is the one I have to start tomorrow my other one I don't have to start until Monday, but still everything was supposed to arrive today. So this is not everything, which my freak out is a little justified now. I wonder if I should call the pharmacy. This is also really weird because that's not the name of the pharmacy that I called and placed the order through. What is happening? Okay. I'm gonna make a phone call. I'm gonna call the pharmacy and see. Alara Care Pharmacy, like that is totally not the pharmacy. Refrigerate, do not freeze. This prescription was compound. Oh, because this is the compound. <gasps> Wait, I don't think I have to freak out. I think I know what's happening. I started freaking out because there's only one shot in here, like one of the prescriptions. I still need three more but I wonder if this was a specific one that was sent out to a different pharmacy that's a compound one and then my other ones are still arriving later today. I still need everything to arrive today. This is the most important one because I'm starting this tomorrow. I'm still gonna call it just in case. Oh, yeah, it's your favorite song. Did my order come? Oh my gosh, that's so funny from Etsy. Okay, so I called the pharmacy, all is well. For some reason though, I only got tracking for that first shipment and not the second, so they're sending me the shipment, no. They're sending me the tracking for the second shipment that is arriving. And the second shipment that is arriving is coming today as well and that will have the rest of my order. Hi, buddy. So that makes me feel better. I was like, I do not wanna wait until the end of the day to call only because it is three o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> And these are the things that like cannot wait. I don't even know what would happen if you didn't get your meds on time for your cycle. They'd probably have to cancel your cycle and you'd have to wait a whole nother month, but we're all set. So no worries. I'll feel fully happy and content once it arrives and I have it, but I've put that in the fridge and now we are um, 
We're doing okay. Guys, my meds are here. My grace made them at the door. We got a huge box. I'm so glad it came. So it is 7.04. It was estimated to come by 7 p.m. So UPS did a really great job because they're pretty much right on schedule, which is so nice. And I got something else that's definitely not from, that's med related. It's a pink box with a bunch of hearts on it. <laughs> Yay, okay, let's go see what they sent, guys. This is always so overwhelming to me. Open immediately upon receipt to verify storage requirements and contents. Okay, watch your fingers. Little man is currently in bed, by the way. And Larry and I are just um, previewing the, why am I like taking so long to talk? The Wizarding World vlog the Universal Studios vlog. It is a 40 minute, 50 second long vlog. And so half of you will say, yay, I love it. It's about time. And the other half will say, oh my gosh, it's 50 minutes. It's, it's terrible. I'm melting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get back away. The woman has a knife. <laughs> She's got a knife. She's Watch not out. Quit, afraid quit. to Stabbing. Picking things off the box. Okay, here we go. I would never stab you. Not on purpose. As far as I know. <laughs> as far as you know. <laughs> um, but anyways, it is such a fun vlog, and Larry and I are really enjoying the rewatch. It's like one of those days that you wish you could like do again. So good. All right. Oh gosh. I, oh my gosh. I just got a little bit of. Here we go. We have Menapure. We have our azithromycin, which I take the night before my oh, egg retrieval. I love those ice packs. Completely melted, by the way. Mm. It's probably been on the truck all day long. Menapure. Are these Menapure too? Yep. Menapure. Menapure. Menopure. Here's your um, swabs. Oh, all swabs. There's, uh, I don't know what. This is the sharps container to put oh, all of our excellent. sharps in. Another box of Menapure. Another box of Menapure. <laughs> what is, is there, that? Uh, those are those the different needle. I didn't have this last time. Well, I probably had this, but it wasn't in. What is this? That's, this is the Gonel. The Gonel Red Eject Pen. I'm familiar with that, but what is this? I wonder if this is my. Um, another Gonel pen. I have four Gonel pens this time. I think last time I had two. And these are more shots. I bet you this is my trigger shot. Chorionic so gonodropin. This is probably the trigger shot. Mix with diluent and inject 10,000 units intramuscular as directed. Why would they put the trigger shot like this? Oh, I bet you. Maybe it did. Whoa. Whoa. those two things back in here. Do they need to be refrigerated? Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Good. Does this need to be refrigerated? I don't think so. Store at 77 degrees or something. One of these do need to be refrigerated. I refrigerated all of these last time. I think this one I refrigerated. Oh, refrigerate. It's the gonel that needs yeah. refrigerated. I was thinking we had some more ice cream in there. We do have ice cream we in there. We certainly do. Yeah. Is that the only one that needs to be? I think so. I don't think this one does need to be refrigerated. But I did it last time. But I don't think I will this time because it says it doesn't need to be. And I don't think this one does either. We got plenty of room in the last uh, bin. Yeah, I emptied that for that. That um, one, the new one that I have to do has to be refrigerated and so does the Ghana, but that's it. All right, guys, we are gonna end this here. So glad the meds arrived. How do you feel to be doing this again with me, babe, with the shots for the next two weeks, probably? It's gonna hurt you a lot more, it's gonna hurt me. True, you're gonna have to help me push in that one, that stomach one. I don't know how the other one's gonna be. This new one, it. the well, hopefully loop it won't be bad. I hope not. We, we can do this anyways. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you on Monday with a very, very, very long, fun, soaking wet ride footage. I feel like that just makes the vlog so much better, like adding ride footage. Anyways, Yay. anyways, anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again in the next one. Bye. Bye.